Good morning. Happy Tuesday. I'm having some French vanilla bones coffee with the sweet cream super creamer and the caramel nut pots. I like to combine the two together really, really good. I am going to have some breakfast now. I'm having three tablespoons of that of the egg whites, one whole egg, a sliced jalapeno and habanero cheese, avocado, a tablespoon of butter, made myself kind of a omelet there. And then I also put some spinach inside, had some avocado on top and a too good yogurt. For my lunch today, I'm having a wrap. So I have one of the mission low carb balanced tortillas and whole wheat. I have some spring mix or I think it's actually spinach and kale, salami, pastrami, pepperoni, a um, little bit of at one tablespoon of the mayo, and I'm just going to wrap it up. Also have a couple of jalapeno poppers that I made on the weekend. For a snack today, I am having this Monk Pack Keto Nut and Seed Bar. I absolutely love these bars. I'm going to stock up this next weekend. They are really good, and it's only three net carbs for the bar. Really good ingredients too. For dinner tonight, I had a burrito bowl. So I have some ground beef underneath here, underneath the lettuce with some cheese. I have some romaine lettuce on top, pico de gallo, jalapenos, sour cream. And then I believe I also have a little bit of salsa and guacamole on top. Such an amazing dinner. And I had a really good macros for the day. So here is my ending macro for the day and calories and all of that. Good morning. I am having a coffee with some of the, I'm doing half of the uh, classic chocolate nut pots, half of the peppermint mocha nut pots. I have that in my thing here. I have some sweetener in here. Um, I use the pure sweetener, in case you didn't know. And then I have some of this mocha keto syrup from Jordan's Kidney Syrups. I found this at um, Marshall's. I'm going to have this and then we'll have a little quick, quick, quick little chit chat because I'm running a little bit behind today. Here we go. I love that foam, y'all. Officially, good morning. Uh, super quick to update. Oh, well, first, I... How do you like this shirt? Isn't it super cute? It's like swirls and flowers and stuff made into a school. Super cute. I actually I got it at Marisa's. Uh, they had sent me an email. I don't think I told you guys this already. Um, but they were having like $10 and $12 graphic t-shirts, so I bought like three. Um, figure since I'm at home, might as well be comfortable. I am going to have to put a sweater on because it is a little bit chilly in here this morning. Okay, yesterday we went and did my husband's bone marrow biopsy. We won't find any results out until, what was the date? 23rd. So we have an appointment on the 23rd to go do that. Um, but it was really difficult. Uh, from what we had researched and looked up, this should be a pretty painless uh, procedure now the way they do it. And he even kept saying, it's not going to hurt. It's not going to hurt. I promise I won't hurt you. However, about halfway through the procedure, um, it, well, first off, they were running extremely late because they had had, I don't know, I, I just, he, the doctor was talking to the nurse when he was in there getting things ready. And he just kept saying, I've never had to kick anybody out before. I've never had that. I mean, so obviously they had some patient that they had to remove from the, from the office. And so when he came in, he was uh, just a little bit frazzled. So it kind of made me a little bit nervous, but I didn't want to show my husband I was nervous. So we just, I didn't even really say anything. Um, but anyway, about halfway through the procedure, the doctor is having trouble getting the little tool into his bone marrow because he's like, um, you have unusually hard bones, which my husband kind of like figured that just because he's, he's only broken two bones in his entire life. And both of them were under very extreme circumstances. And he has, the last time he, the only time that we've been together, since we've been together, the only bone he's broken was his ankle when he was um, doing over the road truck driving and he had a flatbed truck and he, anyway, something, he broke his ankle. The, by the time he got, we got here, cause he wasn't here when it happened, but when he went to the local doctor here, the orthopedic, he told him because of the nature of the break that he, it would take him a minimum three months to um, heal. My husband was like, well, I, you know, the last, the last broken bone I had, they told me the same thing. I, you know, was out of the cast in 28 days, blah, blah, blah. It was a doctor just was like very adamant and very like, um, because of my husband's tobacco use, he, he uses chewing tobacco, um, that it would take even longer. Like you need to quit this because it's going to take at least, he goes with your tobacco use, it's going to take even longer. 
And he was just very like, he was not very like nice about it. My husband was like, well, we'll just see. Cause he had a boot. He didn't have a cast on his ankle and a boot. You know, they use those boots most of the time now. Anyway, so they, um, he was out of the boot in 30 days and back into his work boots. And I mean, it was, they couldn't even like, when they did the x-ray and stuff, yeah, it's completely healed. So he heals extremely fast when it comes to his bones and things like that. So I don't know if it had anything to do with that, his bones being so strong, I don't know. But long story short, the doctor had a lot of trouble getting it into his bone. And my husband was hurting and he was hurting again last night and he didn't, I, he probably shouldn't have went to work today, but he's missed so much work with all these appointments and just him not feeling well because of, you know, whatever's going on. And so he went ahead and went to work, but he just called me and said he probably only gonna make one or two loads today and then come home because he is hurting so bad he can't like bend over. He can't get in and out of his truck. It's, it's, so anyway, um, but we won't find anything out till the 23rd. So we will update you guys then. And I mean, in a way, I'm hoping we don't find anything out because it's never really good news with bone marrow tests, but I don't know. Maybe the good news is that there's nothing, so anyway um so that's that um i did show you everything i ate yesterday i haven't put all that video together yet i'll work on that probably at lunchtime today and so anyway i don't even know what my plans are for um food or anything today i have a meeting first thing this morning we have a new person so we have to do a training this morning so that'll be happening and then i have like 15 emails to go through right now so i'm gonna do that um, but I'm not hungry at all. Um, that like, what I had last night, what did I have last night? Oh, I made taco meat. And so I just kind of threw together like a taco bowl, which is, was really good. And I probably, I will probably have that for lunch today because it was really good. I'm not sure. We'll see. I may change my mind. Um, but anyway, so that's what's going on. So you'll see whatever I decide to have to eat in a little bit. Okay. I am still in a meeting. Um, my part's over. So I am going to have this, oh gosh, my light. I have to still have that light on here. It's just so dark in here. Um, this Monk Pack Keto Nut and Seed. It is um, two net carbs, six protein, and 150 calories. So I'm gonna have that. This is the um, cinnamon almond. Really good. It is lunchtime. Before I make my lunch, I want to tell you guys about this new snack that I just discovered. All I've had today is I had one more cup of coffee, the same thing I had with, I didn't put any um, mocha syrup in there, I just put a little bit more of the peppermint mocha um, nut pods. So that's all I had, and then I had that monk bar, monk pet bar. Work has been busy, so I have not had a chance to even think about anything else today, um, but I really haven't been that hungry. But before I go make lunch, which lunch is going to be leftovers from last night, so I'm just gonna make another like burrito bowl type thing. It is freaking cold in here. I've had to have my sweater on like all morning. Anyway, so my friend Krista sent me these for my birthday and they are the Fat Snacks Almond Flour Crackers. So this is a variety pack. It has cheddar, um, original sea salt, and everything but the carbs. So I have tried the cheddar and the everything but the carbs. I'm going to try this one again um, because I only had a couple of those. But let's talk about the cheddar. The cheddar, y'all. Look, I'm gonna try to move this a little bit so there's not such a glare off of the window. Cheez Its. That's all I have to say. Cheez Its. They taste exactly. And it's not one of those things, those like things where you say, yeah, it tastes just like that. No. You guys, it tastes just like Cheez Its. It is crazy. This whole bag is three servings, which is a joke. I mean, at least two servings. Come on. Um, but it's one net carb per serving. So the whole bag would only be three net carbs. These are good. I went on Amazon to order some more. They're all in back order. Nothing's in stock right now. So I may go on the Fat Snacks website and see what they are on there. Um, ingredients. Almond flour, egg white, cheddar cheese, butter, Coconut flour, flax seeds, Parmesan cheese. My dog is freaking out of here because I gave him a couple yesterday and oh my God, he loves them. Um, xanthan gum, baking powder, water. Um, paprika, garlic, rosemary, onion. That's it. Clean ingredients. They taste fantastic. 
Uh, I cannot recommend these enough, y'all. If you miss crackers, these are fantastic. Um, we have not tried the original sea salt. I'm sure they're gonna be just as good. Mm-hmm, they are. With the cheddar. I may have to just order one of the three packs of cheddar just on its own. That's how good they are. Okay. Those sea salt ones are really good. They are. Hmm. The sea salt ones, interesting enough, are two net carbs. I wonder why. Almond flour, egg white, butter, coconut flour, cream, oh, cream cheese. That's interesting why these ones have cream cheese. So that's even better about the cheddar. They're only one net carb. Um, these everything ones are two net carbs also. Huh. Mmm. Those have such a good garlic flavor. This ones also have cream cheese. That's the difference. Um, these ones have cheddar cheese. These ones have cream cheese. These ones are really good too. But honestly, the cheddar's where it's at. Mmm, these are so good. You guys know I've always been kind of iffy on the fat snacks cookies. They have some cookie bites now. The little ones, I have not tried them. I'm curious about those. But these crackers, really good. Try to find them. I guess the Amazon is all sold out. I don't think they were gonna get any in until like November something. Don't know about their website. I think Nutrition might have them. Uh, but I've never ordered anything off of Nutrition. I keep meaning to, but I just haven't um, done it yet. These are good. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. I should have done that for my snack review mashup video, but I honestly just don't have enough clips to do that video right now. Um, so I just wanted to let you guys know because those are really good. And so they are worth the money. I don't remember how much they were. When I glanced on Amazon, I think they're like $14.99 for a three pack, which is typical with high key fat snacks and all those kind of things. So really good. Okay, I'm gonna go make some lunch. I'll show you what it looks like. I probably grab an energy drink because I've been doing really good with my water. I've had two are gone now of this. And I will chat with you guys at dinner time. Here is my lunch. So I have the ground beef, some cheese, some lettuce, guacamole, sour cream, hot sauce, some pico de gallo, and some jalapenos. Yum, yum. For dinner tonight, I just warmed up some leftover arroz con pollo. This turned out really good. It was even better with leftovers, I think, because it wasn't quite as liquidy. Um, but this video, with the West for dinner video that will have this recipe should be out this next weekend or Monday at the latest. So I'm going to be working on the editing for that this weekend. And I will see you guys in the morning. Have a fantastic day, night, whatever time you are watching this. Bye, guys.